Good to be back home here in the nation's capital after a long road trip that went very well for the Nationals. Tonight, they open a four-game series with division rivals. It's the Miami Marlins and the Washington Nationals. And as we noted before, the second time in a row that the Marlins get a chance to see Yoan Adon, fifth start of the year, and pitching in his seventh game. All of his starts have come since August 11th as the Nationals have employed that six-man rotation, some young arms trying to stretch them out a little bit uh, in terms of time in between starts. And so far, so good. Luis Arise is standing in from the left side of the plate. Lines one toward left center field and down for a base hit. Good start to the night and the series for Luis Arise. So Josh, 25 games now with Miami, hitting 263. That's up the middle, goes off of Adon toward third base, picks it up, throws to first, and it's wide. So that'll be scored a base hit for the difficulty of the play. It's a two out. Now Brian De La Cruz, the left fielder, a right-handed hitter. And hits that one well toward the left field corner and down. And one hops the wall. Arise will score. Bell getting waved to third. And he'll stop right there on the RBI double for Brian De La Cruz. Ending a string of 16 consecutive scoreless innings for the Marlins. They take a 1-0 lead. Braxton Garrett, a little bit of an edge here. Getting a chance to face these Nationals for a second straight start. Braxton Garrett in his last six starts, 2-2 two two with a 291 ERA. 24 strikeouts and just five walks. First pitch, swinging. Abrams on a bouncer to second base. And that's the first out. K. Barrett Ruiz stands in. The Nationals catcher hitting at 260. 19 doubles, 16 homers, and 55 knocked in. And it's a fly ball out to right. Sanchez creeping toward the line with plenty of room to make the catch. And there are two away. Here's Carter Keeboom in the cleanup spot. And this one popped up. A rise going out. And makes the catch. And Braxton Garrett strands the hit by pitch with one out here at the bottom of the first inning. Sanchez, left handed swinger, struck out his first time up. And up the middle of base hit for Sanchez. He struck out back in the first, and he gets a knock to lead things off here in the fourth. But here comes Garrett Hampson. He drew a leadoff walk in the second. Diving play at first base. Dom Smith knocked it down, got to it, and couldn't find a don in time. And the Marlins once again have the first two men on to start an inning. And now Joey Wendell will be the batter. Joey Wendell has been struggling. This might be a situation where you ask him to bunt. Pops up the bunt, and Ruiz makes the catch. Here's Nick Fortes, the number nine hitter. And Fortes hit by the pitch, so the bases are loaded. And the best hitter in baseball this season, Luis Arise, coming to the plate. 0 2 pitch to Arise to second. No catch. That's one. And that will be two. Run scored on what's going to be a 4-6-5 double play. Top of the fifth inning, Marlins lead the Nationals 2-0. Josh Bell leads off the top of the fifth inning for Miami. And a clean knock through the right side. He's two for three. Here's the 0-1 pitch to Jake Berger, and that hit him. Oh, man, you could hear that from up here. That caught him on the left elbow. Oof, boy, that's going to tighten up in a hurry. A difficult spot right here for Yohan. The last time he faced Jazz Chisholm, he went off the left field wall. The terror sign out there in left center field. Jazz down the right field line. This one is into the bullpen. Three run homer for Jazz. It's a huge swing and the crooked number the Marlins have been desperate for for nearly two weeks. I got to get on the board. Got to feel like this is an inning more than anything that you've got to at least get back into it with one. Facing Jacob Young out of the nine spot in the order. Strikeout by Young last time. There's his third major league hit. He is speeding to second oh, base. Oh, oh. And the Nets have second and third. One out thanks to the youngsters. So here's C.J. Abrams who's grounded a second and grounded a short hole for two. Abrams out to center. Chisholm getting behind it. Good runner at third. It's not that deep. He's going to come home with it. Throw is way offline. He'll score standing. The second out of the inning, a sacrifice fly and a run batted in for C.J. Abrams, his 50th RBI of the season. Here's Stephen Okert. As you nailed a few moments ago, he's going to get Young, then Abrams and Manessa. So he gets two righties around the lefty. Yeah, 53rd game for Stephen Okert. 11 holes, 372. Another solid year for the lefty. Stephen Okert will face Jacob Young, then the top of the order for the Nationals here in the bottom of the eighth. And a called strike three, perfect slider, back door for the strikeout. Abrams sack fly last time, RBI number 50. 
Abrams got a breaking ball and uh, straight up it goes out to right. Sanchez. Oh, wow. I don't know if the color of that glove gets in his eyes or what, but he's looked uncomfortable with that thing on a couple of catches today. Bring up Joey Vanessis has been hit by a pitch. Fly the deep left field and bounce to third. Popped up. Right side of the infield. Josh Bell underneath it makes the catch. But that's a perfect bottom of the eighth inning for Stephen Oker. Joe LaSorsa back with the ball club. Kind of a numbers game thing the last time he got sent out. So with him, the Nationals using the six-man rotation are back to an eight-man bullpen for a few days. He is facing Luis Arise to lead off the top of the ninth inning. And a multi-hit game for Arise. Poked it through that left side. Here's Josh Bell turning around a bat right-handed against LaSorsa. Abrams on the charge. Oh, He'll try to turn two. What a gun by Michael Chavis. A slow roller in a 6-4-3. Second of the night. Then that's 128th of the year. And that'll bring up Jake Berger. He's having a nice night as well. Swung on hit high and deep left field. The lose going back at the wall. Goodbye. Jake Berger with a bomb. His 28th of the season. And the Marlins have themselves a 6-1 to lead. And they are out of slam range of the Nationals now. Yeah, 48th game for A.J. Puck. He's got 15 saves on the year. 5-5, five 4-1-2. Five, it's a four-seam fastball sweeper. Occasional sinker that he'll throw in there, just a little two-seam run, but a lot of sweepers. The lefties, righties are going to get the same thing, but you get 96 to 98. Final hope for the Nats is Dominic Smith, a walk-in three plate appearances tonight. All set to go. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Bouncing ball right side. Arise charges. And the play over to first base. It's a Marlins win. Six to one the final score. Braxton Garrett good Marlins offense gets it going big home run from Jazz Berger adds one late bullpen does its job complete team win tonight for the Marlins and they need him.